Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about Lenovo laptops and their very, very annoying problem. So if you have a Lenovo laptop, maybe you had this problem before. So Lenovo laptops are known for this problem. They uh, frequently get some audio problems. Uh, I had it with my new Legion uh, Y7K laptop. The audio kept getting ahead of video. I heard some cracks uh, when I uh, used the speakers or I used some headphones. So I had a lot of problems with the audio and uh, I searched it online because that's what I do once I get an error like this. And uh, I found out that a lot of users had this problem with uh, Lenovo laptops. So I found a solution online. I'm gonna show you the solution today in this video. and you'll You'll see that it is quite simple. First of all, what you have to know is that this problem comes from the standard NVMe controller, so it has something to do with the um, storage. I really can't explain you why this is affecting the audio, but this is how I fixed my issue, and uh, of course, I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. Uh, what you have to do is you have to go to the Lenovo official website, to the Lenovo support, and you're going to have to go and get the official driver for the standard NVMe controller. So you go on the uh, website, just go on laptops, and then you're going to have to go to the driver and software section. Of course, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description, so don't worry about that. So then just go and click on get downloads. I'm going to search that. I'm going to put in here my laptop. So it's a Legion uh, Y7K laptop. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to search it. After you enter the right type of Lenovo laptop that you have, you're going to get to this page. On this page, drivers and software, just go to manual update and then go and search for storage. And here you're going to have the Intel Rapid Storage Technology driver for Windows 10. This is what you're looking for. Just click on it and then click on download. I'm not going to do that right now because I already did it, but you have to download it, install it. It's a very, very simple install. Just next, next and finish and after you install this driver you're just gonna have to go on this pc local disk c or where you have your windows operating installed you'll see that you have here a new folder which is called drivers in this driver folder if you enter in you're gonna see this intel irst driver folder it's very important to know that so in the drivers folder you have the new driver installed this is a very very uh, quick thing to note after that right click on this pc click on manage then go to device manager and here on device manager go to storage controllers expand it and here you're gonna have two options you're gonna have standard NVMe controller and Microsoft storage spaces controller you see that in my case it is different because I already did the modifications needed for the problem to be fixed but instead of this Intel chipset SATA stuff like that you're gonna have the standard NVMe Express controller locate that and right click on it and then click on update driver remember you right click on standard NVMe controller and then update driver. After that, this window will appear. Just go and click on browse my computer for driver software and then go and click on browse. And of course, you're going to have to go to the driver's location that I've showed you a few seconds before in the partition where the Windows is installed drivers and then go and locate the Intel IRST driver, expand it and just go and click on the source folder and click on OK. And then this will update in this location. Click on next, next and finish and everything should be good now. After you did all these modifications, exit out of here and make sure you restart your laptop or the changes to take effect. After the restart is completely done, you'll see that the laptop should not have any audio problems anymore. No audio cracks, no audio desync or audio ahead of video. You'll see that everything is good now. I'm gonna leave you down below in the description also a link from the Lenovo.com forums and there you're gonna have the complete solution written and explained uh, if this video didn't help make sure to check out that link down below in the description and i'm hoping that this video helps you and you manage to fix the problem this very very annoying problem and now you can um, happily uh, work and um, enjoy your new lenovo laptop so this was the video for today if it was useful don't forget to leave a like leave a comment down below subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads until next time have a nice day